I'm so glad you're here. I don't have time to tell you that my name is Crystal and I'm a scientist because I'm from the future and we have to encourage more women and girls to enter science and engineering. Okay, I'm not really from the future, but I don't have to be to tell you that diverse and inclusive workplaces lead to higher revenues, greater innovation, and more highly regarded work. And that's a fact that can lead us all into a better future. So I'm here to spread the word about some of my female colleagues that you might not have heard of to encourage more young girls to pursue science, engineering, and technology. As a neuroscientist, I know that if you want people to remember things, it's best to offer some positive reward because it pays to learn. So let's go spread some knowledge and some dollar, dollar bills. So I have a few questions for both of you about science. Ooh, science. The first round is very simple. All you need to do in 30 seconds is name as many real scientists as you possibly can. Okay. And for every correct answer, I will give you one American dollar. Okay. Okay? <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, we're ready. Ready, go. Oh, this is a lot of pressure. Uh, Einstein, Stephen Hawking. Um, Edison, Tesla. Uh, Stephen Jay Gould. Okay. Louis Leakey. Uh, wow. Archimedes. Heisenberg. Boyle. Does Bill Nye count or is Bill Nye? Well, I'll take it. Okay. He's an engineer. <laughs> okay. Gosh, Charles um, Land. He was my seventh grade science teacher. Sure, I'll um, take it. Pythagoras. Keep going. You've got this. Um, Aristotle. Oh, Isaac Newton. Isaac Newton and time. Okay, that's amazing. Five, six, seven scientists. That is. Excellent. That's almost ten dollars. Whoa, we're That's rich. That's amazing. Okay, so we're gonna up the stakes a little bit okay. for round two. For every correct answer, you get five dollars. Okay. okay. Thirty seconds on the clock, and I need you to name as many female scientists as you can. Go. Down. <laughs> Go. This is now. This is just sad because none come to mind. Wow. Was Amelia Earhart a scientist at all in aviation? I don't think I know any. Awkward. Are you a scientist? I am. Crystal, a scientist. do the work. Excellent! <laughs> all right, one female scientist. Okay. Who else? Who else? Who else? Uh, uh, too late, time's up. Okay, but that's okay. You got one yes. female oh scientist, and I'm very flattered that it was me. <laughs> but there's so many other yes. amazing women scientists yes. out there, but we I just somehow it. we don't think of their names first, right. right? We always think of like the white guys with the bad hair. <gasps> Facts. I'm gonna ask you the same questions again, okay. but first I'm gonna let you study. Here are some amazing women in science and oh engineering gosh, yeah. that you could have named. Mm -hmm. So Chen Sheng Wu is an amazing nuclear physicist that worked on the Manhattan Project. Oh wow. Katie Bowman has been in the news recently. She's a total badass. She helped us figure out how to take a picture of a black hole. Oh, so like that's how right. to take a picture of the absence of things. That's basically. pretty incredible, yeah. yeah. Tara Gwen is a 22-year-old engineer that graduated from MIT and is currently working for NASA, helping them to propel people to Mars. Yes, girl. Yeah, Sorry. Exactly. <laughs> yes, girl. Okay, I'm gonna take this away. <laughs> Round three. Five dollars for a correct answer. Okay. Can you name a female scientist? Shen Yun Wu. Love it. Katie Bowman. Yes, love it. Um, Nicole Hernandez Hammer. Barbara. McClintock. Catherine. Mm -hmm. Last name. Johnson. Yes. Tierra Gwen. Perfect. No! Okay, that's all right. You got a lot more <laughs> after the cheat sheet. I'm afraid that I lied. I know I said there was three rounds, but there's actually a lightning round. I am going to give you the opportunity to familiarize yourself with these statements about diversity in science and engineering. Use this magnifying glass okay. so that you can take a closer look at the facts. Okay. Yeah. Tell me which one of these you think is not true. Studies have shown no significant differences in innate ability of men and women to do science and engineering. Diverse and inclusive workplaces are associated with greater innovation, higher revenues, and highly regarded work. The careers of women in science and engineering are often impacted by bias, discrimination, and harassment from both men and women. So, which one of those statements do you think is not true? Not true? Mm-hmm. 
Um, the first one. Yeah? Go with your gut, like your first instinct. No significant differences. You think there's differences in the ability? Yes. Um, okay, wait. They all sound right to me. All of these seem true. That's because okay, they're wait. all true! That was, that was, it was a so trick question! Hard. And so, for winning our lightning round, you get $10! <laughs> so, for you personally, you're yes. going to be a woman in uh -huh. science. You are, actually, yeah. already studying science. How does representation matter to you? I was the only girl in all of my AP Physics classes. And I know that greatly affected me because I always felt like, oh, I don't belong. Oh, maybe school isn't for me. Maybe science isn't for me. We just need more women to be recognized overall because I think all the women that you mentioned, they did make significant contributions, yet we can't really remember them as often as we do their male counterparts. And I hope that you will learn more about the contributions of women to science. Well, thank you for schooling me. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck in your future career in physics. And thank hopefully you. one day we'll have your name on the cheat sheet yeah. as a woman in science. Thank you. <laughs> Come on, you want to go get a popsicle? Yeah. yeah. Okay, all right. Me too. Bring one back for me. Okay, thank you very <laughs> thank much. Thank you. Like that. Like Look at that. all that money.